You got a cat in the back? Where? I don't see him. He's, he's, he's over there. Oh. Okay. So, madam, are you in college? <laughs> I already graduated. Are you already graduated? Oh, so you're what, 24, 25? 24. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, listen, ma'am, I just, I got to ask these questions. Because, you know, obviously you can tell I'm a content creator, so I got to ask. Um, you are 24 now. Have you mm -hmm. been finding any people who's suitable to date? Today? To date. Suitable? Yeah. Most of them. Most of them are across seas or the actual country, but I say yeah. The men you find suitable to date are across the country. <laughs> are you going to move? Uh, maybe I don't know. So are you? So wait a minute. <clears throat> You're not dating anybody, so this is just people you just what come in contact with, or? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you mean they're suitable? I mean, like what? What's if they're suitable? What's keeping you from dating them? Uh, either they have a girlfriend or they don't meet the standards or okay let's stop right there standards what standards um i have a list of standards in my phone that i try to meet oh, okay. oh standards you try to meet or they try to meet for you both let me hear them. go ahead <laughs> okay um I think there's like 50 something. Um, kind. Respectful. Okay. Honest. Okay. Hygienic. Nice teeth. Trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Communicative. Curiosity. Needy. Solid work ethic. Steady income. Overthinking mindful kind of the same thing no has like a good um interest and like inference of like what their future is and like what they want to do with themselves um passionate the ability to cook patient um affectionate intellectual ambitious um someone very perceptive like notices the little things um Someone that can take a joke. Um, someone understanding, um, caring, loving, um, casual intimacy, doesn't have the ability to be normal. Someone sure of themselves. Someone with multiple assets that can help in different situations. Um, a problem solver, kind of the same thing. Someone accepting of like life and like who they are. Um, <laughs> Someone funny, preferably dark humor, because I like dark humor. Um, a nerd or like a dweeb. I'm one of those. Um, someone that's addicted, not to anything specific, but addicted to something. It helps with your mental state. Um, someone clean and organized, because I have trouble with that. So like that person can help me um, and others. But those are like the main ones. <laughs> those are like the main ones? Yeah. Ma'am, who do you think can reach a standard list of 50? Um, the guys in the books I read. Okay, well, those don't exist, though. What about the real men? <laughs> um, they, they, they don't have that capability. Oh, so what's the plan? Be alone forever and die that way as well. You're willing to die alone because some pe men can't reach the standard of a fictional character in a book? <laughs> no. I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, but like, those are like dream standards. See, like, I don't believe in marriage, you see? So, like, you don't believe in what? Marriage. Why is that? What do you mean you don't believe in it? I, I, don't, I don't think it's good. It's not good. Explain. Um, it's like, I think of it as like a leash to another person. A leash? Meaning yeah. what? As in, like, whoever you're married to holds that, and you're just putting that collar on yourself. What can't like, you do? Okay, so in marriage, so you what do you, you want to be polyamorous? I wouldn't mind that. You wouldn't mind that. No. What does that What does that mean? Do you mean you would do want that, or you don't want that? I wouldn't I mean, mind it. 
if you had an option, which one would you pick? Monogamy or polyamory? Probably monogamy. Okay. So what is a, what is it a leash for? What do you mean? What can you? Because it's just it's too binding. It's too binding. Yeah. So what are you? So you're saying what you're gonna have relationships and just as long and that's it. This long relationship until y'all break up. Not, I mean, if I'm with that person, I stay with that person. If I don't, then I don't. I think it's that simple. You think it's that? Si- have you been in a relationship before? I have. How long ago? It's been like seven months. And why did that one end? He cheated. Okay, that couldn't be reconciled. No. So, okay. So anytime you get in a relationship and a man steps out just once, it's over. What do you mean? Well, if he cheats, it's, it's over. Yeah. 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 But like, I like, like there's like different like layers that I feel like say like, oh, he kissed another girl. Okay. But like fucking, that's like, yeah, get the fuck out of my life. Why did he, okay. Why did he say he did it? He said that he did it. Because he wasn't sure about what he wanted. With you? Yeah, with me. How long were y'all together? We were together like maybe two years. Two years. You only cheated yep. once and it was over. Yep. That simple. <sighs> you keep saying simple. It's not simple. Yeah. Uh, okay, because life so. is like really, really complicated. So like if you just call it simple, then it'll be. Well, just because you call it simple doesn't make it simple. Nah, I think it makes it simple. Hmm. So what? Do you, so you think everything in this life is just going to be simple? Just like you say, relationships are going to be simple. And so when you do find somebody across the country who's a fictional character in a book, that's going to be simple? Yeah. Madam, you went to college? I did. Graduated? Uh-huh. Got a degree in what? I got a master's in... <laughs> culinary. Oh, yeah. And your associates masses. in photography. Okay. So then you know yeah. life is not simple then, right? I do. Okay, ma'am. So why are you living this way? Because I choose to. Because you choose to. It, so it's, it's life for you just uh, go with the wind, butterflies? Oh, hell no. Okay, so then it's not simple. If you're not just going with the flow. <laughs> but... You you have to keep it simple. It's like chaos brings peace. Well, chaos wouldn't be simple though, right? No. Okay. So we okay. So we are starting to come to some kind of agreement that life itself and the things you think about aren't simple. All right. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to be married one day? No. Oh, wait. You don't want to be. You already are, <laughs> you already answered that. So you don't want a relationship at all, right? I do. For what purpose? I think people are nice. And being alone is lonely. Okay, I mean romantic relationships. You want a romantic relationship? Yeah, pleasure is nice. Oh, you you just want a relationship for pleasure? Not only for pleasure, but like pleasure is nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so that your main driving force is the pleasure? No, not really. Okay, so what's... Go ahead. It used to be a help. Huh? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, so what would be the driving force? The ability to create a bond and give nurture to that to last a while. A while. How long yeah. is that? Wherever it takes me. Okay, now I certainly, if you're one of those go with the wind kind of people, now you just said wherever it takes me. Yeah, because like that's the kind of, you can't like plan out a situation like that. You can't be like, oh, well, it's going to end after like maybe month three. It's like relationships are so unpredictable. That's, so you really just have to like live in those moments and just like whatever happens happens in those kind of moments because you don't know what's gonna happen. That's life. But see, when you plan to fail, what's the rest of that quote? I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, when you fail to plan, you plan to fail, right? Okay. So you're saying there's no time limit, there's nothing on it, but you're getting a relationship with no parameters like just go with it so inevitably it's gonna end because why 
because there's not going to be no marriage and you sure didn't say I'm going to try to make it last as long as it possibly can. You just said whenever it ends, it ends. So that means a person like you is probably going to wait until the day you don't feel it anymore. The love is gone or you don't have the feelings or you feel all tingly inside. And the second that dips, then you can be like, ah, you know what? I'm not feeling it anymore. When I kiss you, I don't get the sparks. When I hug you, I don't feel it. When we go look at the waterfall, I feel dead inside. So what are you talking about relationship? Because people get in marriages and they don't feel love the entire time. I feel like you're a person that once you quit feeling it, you're going to dip. So there is a parameter there, ma'am. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. You don't ponder these things, hmm? Not really. So one day you're going to look up, madam, and uh, you're going to be 30, 35. Who knows? And do you think that if you do decide you want a man, you think he's just going to be out there waiting? No. No. Okay. So, if you get to that age, acting the way you are, you're probably going to have to, you know what, buy a dog and die alone. 